Avengers Endgame. Awesome, action-packed, great visual effects. End of review. guys welcome back to another reputized video so sorry i haven't been uploading here recently i've just been dealing with a lot of crap in my throat i've been getting treatment and all and it's i'm not sick it's just something i've been dealing with for a while but enough about that let's get into this review avengers endgame was directed by the russo brothers and once again stars robert downey jr chris evans and so many others so many others is in this film Start off with the positives. I loved this movie because it was an actual continuation from Infinity War. Before they went into production of Infinity War, they were going to make two movies back to back. And before they changed it to Endgame, it was going to be called Infinity War Parts 2. But that shortly got thrown out the window and with good reason too. And I'm glad they did and went with Endgame instead. Infinity War, that one mainly focused on him. This one, it is the Avengers' time to shine. Basically, they spend a better portion of the film picking up the pieces, trying to make good of what happened. I realize this is going to be a hard film not to spoil, but I'm going to try my best. This film was the only MCU, was the first to actually have a runtime of three hours. But I think it worked because they had a lot of dialogue in it. They did have a lot of talking. It kind of reminded me of the Kill Bill movies. How the first Kill Bill film was loaded with blood and guts, action, all of that. And then when you got to volume two of that film, it focused more on the story. It was more dialogue. That's what Avengers Endgame reminded me of. Avengers Endgame was like the Kill Bill volume two to Kill Bill volume one, basically. There was a lot of character development. But by the time the third act happened, you actually needed that. And this film actually didn't feel three hours, feel like three hours long. Because it had the perfect amount of comedy in it, even though it was more gloomy. You have a time jump, and there's just all this other crazy stuff that the Avengers tries to work through. The visual effects were just amazing. Just like in the last film, I believe ILM. Industrial Light Magic did it, and it just looked amazing. The cinematography and the lighting. The Russo Brothers' direction was just awesome. This film is supposedly the last of the Infinity Gauntlet story. Infinity Stone story. I'm sure we'll have another Spider-Man film on the way next month, I believe, or two months. But this film closed the chapter of something really huge, and they did it real, real good. They did it in a way that was just perfect. The music by Alan Silvestri was just fantastic. It really made you feel for the characters. And there's a lot of tear-jerker moments. It was really unique. The acting and the editing, there's just not enough good I can say about this film. And I think, I, I think you know where I'm probably gonna go with the rating on this. Josh Brolin, once again, comes back as Thanos. Now, like I said at the beginning of this review, it is the Avengers' time to shine in this. Thanos already had his film, but he is still in this, and he's still a badass. And without giving too much away, I'll just leave it at that. And you have wonderful chemistry. You have wonderful character development. You have very beautiful special effects. I cannot emphasize that enough. Marvel, you know what the hell you're doing. DC, you need to take a lesson. Although I think DC is finally building up to what they're supposed to be. DC really needs to take a lesson from Marvel. The only negatives I have was there were certain scenes that they filmed that they sort of just left up in the air. And it's like the filmmakers was like, okay, let's just forget about this scene and go with this because we got so much on our plate because they did. Watching this film, you have so much story but not enough to confuse you. But you've got so much to watch and to focus on 
the filmmakers was working with a lot, was dealing with a lot. And you can tell by certain scenes, they just had to dump in order to like get to certain other portions of this film. Maybe for time constraints, I don't know. But that's the only negative I have. Everything else, right is right. This is a film that every true Marvel comic fan will love to its core. Every Marvel comic fan's dream. This is definitely on aces, that's for sure. And like I said, all you Marvel comic fans, yeah, you'll love it. That's all I'll say. I'm giving Avengers Endgame an A. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What did you think of the film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And again, I do apologize for not uploading as much. I'm just going through so much, so I thank those who stuck with me. I noticed I, I lost two subscribers here recently, so to y'all, if y'all get back to my channel, I do apologize for that. It's just I'm dealing with a lot, so you just gotta have to be patient with me. I will get back to it once I get all this crap figured out with my throat. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.